technology is uh, one of the main driving forces I think for change in academic publishing. How far do you think the industry has come with regard to the use of technology? It's interesting how, how much things have changed even in, even in the last 10 years. Um, it's, my background is journals publishing and the, the speed at which the, the, the online, online journals um, are replacing print journals has, has been really pretty phenomenal. Um, I think you know any any new journals that are really launched um, within the within the industry tend to be you know they, they tend to be online only and they tend to have sort of a full XML workflow right from the point of submission to the point of publication and even beyond that to the point of you know annotating the document making changes to it after that and also sharing that that XML with the community there remains I guess hurdles to overcome because the I guess the kind of the value and the, the richness of the of scholarly communications is that you know you've got you've got publications that date back to 1665 and it there needs to be publishers need to put infrastructure in place, they need to commit time and they need to commit money to digitizing those back files if they you know if they want to do so. And I, and I don't think that's a that's a small hurdle to overcome whatsoever. You know, it's great that people have content going right away back, but some of that's in you know in scanned PDFs. So even the fact that most PDFs are sort of are readable, um, you can use OCR tools on them. All of that's um, all of that's great, and I think that just having the the time and the investment within the industry to actually work on that will take things forward again. So as I said it's great for you know it's great for it's great for new journals, it's great for publishers that are moving over that way. Um, but it'll just take time for those workflows to to exist in a way that um, that's financially viable and technically viable for, for all publishers. So I would say within the within the industry um, and Really within um, sort of like you know the librarian community as well. There's not really so much misconceptions, but there is. Um, it is something that people are still you know getting to grips with. I am um, trying to support the researchers in doing it, trying to answer questions, and trying to set up systems that will actually you know will actually facilitate. Um, getting the full text back or supporting researchers who do want to mine content. So um, I, I think there's still a little way to go with that because uh, publishers are saying that they maybe only get you know a handful of requests. So knowing how to best service those requests um, for the for their researchers is something that they're um, that, that that they that they want to get better at um, and just be able to yeah just to be able to, to work in that in that sphere because. You know, the more that the research is used for, then the better. And text mining is a use outside the bounds of what researchers can, can do reading things in the conventional way.